Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. A few months ago, we did a video, a few months ago, um, where Skip Bayless gave an interview on this radio show called WBH Radio. Now, during that interview, Skip Bayless was asked about his former partner, Stephen A. Smith. Now, the interview is a long interview, about a 40 minute interview. Anyway, at a certain point in that interview, he was asked about his former partner, Stephen A. Smith, and whether or not he would, you know, what, no, basically they asked him, what were his, does he have any regrets and from the past and all of these different things? And Skip Bayless said, when he was, during his response, he said that, listen, you know, I, I do wish I could redo some things in the past. And he would be absolutely open to reuniting um, with Stephen A. Smith again, his former co-host on ESPN uh, First Take. But of course, some people out there thought we were lying, right? Some people thought we were lying. And I think the people that thought we were lying are people that generally don't do any research and are quite lazy. I think people who are lazy and don't do research always assume that everybody else is lazy and nobody else does research, right? I think that's really how it kind of works because I think that that would be the only reason. To, like, why would I? Why would we come up here and start lying to you? Like, as if we don't have anything else uh, better to do. So what we're gonna do is, although we already produced this video in the past, I mean that that when we covered that story, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna play some pieces from that video or from that interview rather where he basically explains his point and then we'll bring it back and by the way this interview took place in july 2021 not 2005 or 2018 or something like that this happened this year so before we go too far take a listen to some of the comments that skip bill has had to make uh, when he was on that show take a listen to that there he got a tie skip one last one for you um sure. you've been dominating this sports debate for years uh, recently, you just came out of negotiation, which kind of reaffirmed your value, you know. Thank you. What would you say has been your biggest disappointment or setback in in your career? Hmm. That's a good question. Because you've been the man flying high. You know, we, we hear about your work ethic and your discipline, and that's contributed to the success you've had. You undefeated in debate. But when you do this long enough, journalism, t television, there's going to be some roadblocks, some up and downs. Yeah, honestly, you're going to think this is a cliche answer, but, but it's the God's truth. I don't have any regrets. Mm -hmm. I have had a bunch of ups and downs. Yes, sir. I am a spiritual man, and I do believe in God, and I do believe in the power of prayer. And I believe in listening to what I call your God voice, which is your intuition in the back of your head that tells you to do that or that. And sometimes I look back on a choice that I made career-wise, like leaving Stephen A. Mm -hmm. And and I say, oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. And then a month later, I wake up and say, no, no, it's, it's okay. It's going to work. And I do not rule out one day reuniting with Stephen A because in my last, what you're talking about, my new deal, <laughs> it was close that I almost reunited with him then. Yep. It was very close. <laughs> and I would love to work with him again, but it's like, that's in God's hands. And I, I'm not trying to, to shrug off your question or duck or dodge your question. Now in that clip, uh, Skip Bayless said a lot, right? He said a lot, but the part I want to focus on was the, the fact that he said he would love to work again with his former co-host, uh, Stephen A. Smith. As y'all as y'all remember, Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless had very good chemistry, right? Unlike Skip, Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman, who didn't get along, Stephen A. Smith and, and Skip Bayless got along very well. And I think one of the reasons that for that was Skip Bayless was in the power position. And, Skip, uh, and Stephen A. Smith basically had to behave himself, right? Because Skip Bayless was the big wig on the show. He had to like, you know, he couldn't show him up on TV because Skip Bayless was the one that extended the olive branch to him and said, listen, I want you to come and do this show with me. and We're going to be 50-50 partners. So Stephen A. Smith knew very well that he couldn't go up there and try to show up, you know, you know, you know, you know, talk down to Skip Bayless. He knew in his right mind he couldn't do that. But the moment he was put in the power position, you saw how he acted. That's why if you really want to see how people behave, give them some power and you really find out a lot about a person. So they had a good working relationship and I think there was a good level of respect uh, between them. And then there was a news that came out a number of months ago where Skip Bayless 
really had an opportunity to reunite with uh, with Stephen A. Smith. Again, this goes back to research. Some people thought, oh, maybe he's making this up, blah, 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 blah. Is this not true? Essentially, what was going to happen was they were trying to come together to do an exclusive show for Disney Plus. Disney Plus, obviously, we all know what that is. Or Disney Plus, which is which also owns Disney, which also owns ESPN. In this case, it was going to be ESPN Plus. It was going to be an exclusive show on that uh, app or whatever it is you want to call it, that would that would bring in an entire bring in an entirely new audience, right? And who wouldn't want to see a new show with Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith? That was originally the idea. That was what Skip Bayless was referring to when he said we came very very close to reuniting again. And this made me begin to wonder. This made me begin to wonder. What if uh, Max Kellerman and Shannon Sharp linked up together in the future? Now, some of you guys may be saying Max Kellerman and Shannon Sharp. Yes. What if they did? Right. We're kind of looking ahead. And why am I saying this? Skip Bayless, I think, is about 69, 70 years old. He's not going to be doing sports media forever. Right. He's not going to be doing sports media forever. On the other hand, if you take Shannon Sharp, Shannon Sharp is only 53 years old. Right. And if you look at Max Kellerman, Max Kellerman is only 48 years old. So in the sports media world, these guys are still in the middle of their prime. Right. It's not like as if they're on the, you know, they're at the tail end of their of their run on TV. They're not. Shannon Sharp just started on Undisputed in 2016. Obviously, before in the past, he was on um, ESPN where he, you know, he did some shows. And I think he also did some shows for the NFL Network or whatever it is. But it's not like as if he's been on TV for 20 years or 15 years. Right. These guys are still fairly new in the business. And I think that Shannon Sharp has a lot of charisma. Obviously, he's very, very funny. He has some strong views. And Max Kellerman is also very analytical. He can be funny. Um, you know, he's very good at arguing. And I think I think these guys could probably work well together. And I'm just trying to envision a topic, for example, um, you know, with them probably debating Jordan versus LeBron. Right now, we all know Max Kellerman thinks that uh, LeBron James is great, but he thinks LeBron. I mean, he thinks that Michael Jordan is the greatest. And then Shannon Sharp is the inverse of that. So I was just trying to imagine what if these guys got together and started their own show? Obviously, I think that their partnership would be rooted in respect. I don't see a scenario in which they would be, you know, Shannon Sharp would be cussing out Max Kellerman and vice versa, Max Kellerman cursing out Shannon Sharp. I don't think any of those things would take place, uh, you know, whatsoever. I don't think it would be that type of, I don't think it would be that type of relationship. I think these guys would have a healthy respect for each other. But I also think that they would also be able to you know, have some very, very interesting debates together. Now, maybe this is just me wanting to, you know, you know, hyping up something that I want to see. Possibly that could be a case. But to me, I just think that it could be something that could work. And I think Shannon Sharp, who who was a huge supporter of LeBron James, I think he could probably possibly take a page out of LeBron James's book because LeBron James is known for not waiting for anyone to, def you know, to define his destiny. He's going to go out there and, you know, um, create his own luck, so to speak. You know, he started creating super teams, not super teams. He started creating super teams for himself. Uh, he's known as the player empowerment, um, you know, um, person in the NBA. He really started that. And I think that if Shannon Sharp said, listen, I'm looking down the road and I'm trying to figure out who would be the who 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 would be a good partner for me. Maybe he may look at he may look at, uh, you know, uh, Max Kellerman. Max Kellerman obviously has his own show. This just in on ESPN. But that's just his own personal show. What if the two of these guys linked up together? I wonder what that would be like. Now, obviously, this is just food for thought. This is just something that I'm thinking about. But I think it could be I think it could be something that could possibly happen in the future. Who knows? I, don't, I wouldn't rule it out. So these are my thoughts. And what I want to think of what, what I want to ask you guys is, do you think that this is something that could be a possibility in the future? And if you do think it could be a possibility, do you think it would be fun to watch? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode.